The clock is ticking on Pope Francis's visit to Canada, with one of his first stops at an Edmonton church, still under construction, after a 2020 non-suspicious fire revealed asbestos. You know, we get to see the sun come up and go down all in the, on a work day. And the people that are involved with it uh, hope it's given them something to come back to. Crews are confident not only will Sacred Heart Church of the First Peoples be ready, it'll stand the test of time. For me, it's a tremendous opportunity for the healing of this nation, Canada. Elder Fernie Marty sees the Pope's visit to Canada as an important step in his healing journey, but the day school survivor noticed something else at the first Sunday Mass since the fire. I saw people who haven't been in this church over 20 years come here yesterday and now wanting to come home. Uh, many others who were suffered uh, because when they found all the missing bodies of the children, uh, pulled away from the church and now they're coming back. Pope Francis has been clear. His journey to Canada is to apologize on Canadian soil for the legacy of residential schools. The state sponsored segregated institutions that saw children taken away from their families. Thousands never returning home. In Alberta, the leader of the Catholic Church will visit a residential school in Masquachies, a pilgrimage in Lac St. Anne and Holy Mass at Commonwealth Stadium. The event here at Sacred Heart is not open to the public. The only public event truly is at Commonwealth. But for survivors of residential schools, they still have opportunities to attend the event in Masquachies as well as Lac St. Anne. Important for people to know they can't get up Monday morning or Tuesday morning and decide that they want to just drive there and, and go see the event. Treaty 6 Grand Chief wanting to make sure there is no misinformation so that as many survivors who want to can attend. All events are free, but there are tickets and a large security presence. So it's required that you reach out to your respective national indigenous organization, archdiocese or regional AFN representative. Pope is coming here to apologize and it's a beginning and it's a start for us to uh, begin some reconciliation and build a new path we need to build. And while more public tickets for the Holy Mass at Commonwealth were meant to be made available Monday, they've been delayed until Friday in order to prioritize Indigenous participation. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.